This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Hey guys, what's up? LD Shadow Lady here and welcome back to One Life. Today I am going to be adding to my exotic pet collection. As you guys know, out here I recently built myself a little bunny castle for my beautiful bunnies to be housed in, and I thought it would look super cute if we had a couple of other animal castles lined up beside it. Now I am classing bunnies as an exotic pet because I have quite a large variety of different colours. I've got the black, the white, the brown, the yellow, maybe one day I'll have a killer bunny. But I think owning one of those would be ill-advised given the nature of this Minecraft series. Series. So, right next to it I would like to place another castle. So let's go for a different colour scheme for this one, but the same material, the clay shingles. I think perhaps a green castle could look pretty cool. So we just need a bunch of lime green hardened clay. Here we go. Now I'll turn these into shingles. And we have all the lime green clay shingles we could ever need. <gasps> it's night time. No building in the dark, you know the rules. Ah, thank goodness. Now I'm gonna make this the exact same size. So let's leave some space in between and start building it here. I'm starting to regret the choice of lime green. It looks pretty hideous, but we've come way too far to go back on it now. So we're just gonna have to deal with it. Yep, that is quite hideous. Oh well, we don't have time for regret. Okay, so we have the castle shape. Now we just need these beautiful white shingles to add some decoration to it. And all will become clear when we add a mob statue on top and you will know what animal is going inside here. But for now, it's a top secret surprise. Okay, this actually looks pretty cute. We just need the animal on the top. So we will be requiring some red clay and some white clay. And I will give you a second clue. There's the second clue. If you don't know what animal I'm talking about, have you ever played Minecraft before? So let's build this thing right here. Okay, here she is in all her glory. Well, not quite all of her glory. She doesn't have a face yet and it's getting dark. So let's get back inside where I can see my beautiful masterpiece from my bunk bed. Beautiful. And I'm gonna do the same eyeballs for the mushroom as the rabbit. So we're gonna do the quilted black wool and maybe even give her some kawaii cheeks cause she deserves them. So let's make the quilted eyes first of all and plop these in place. One there and one there. Oh my gosh, I wonder how weird that looks right now. Wow, look, it looks like there are eyeballs floating in her head. It's kind of traumatizing. Let's put these cute ones there instead. There, very cute, but she is definitely missing some kawaii cheeks. Boom. And the last thing she needs is her horns. And maybe some little mushrooms on her back too. So let's make some gray dye and dye some of the clay gray. And then we can finish her off with her horns. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. Now I wonder if we can actually get some of these mushroom blocks if we use our silk touch pickaxe on a giant mushroom. Let's try that out because that would be awesome. Let's see if we can grow a mushroom on this pod sole. Okay. Yes! Now we'll test out the silk touch. <gasps> it worked! Oh my gosh, this is so cool! Okay, we don't need that much. Let's just cut the rest of this down. Now it's time to crown our mushroom princess with her mushrooms. So let's plop one on her head and then a bunch of them on her back. There! It's like she's a real mushroom cow. Oh yes, she looks fantastic. And now we just need to actually find a mushroom to put in here. And then once we found her, maybe decorate it to her liking. So let's put all this building equipment away and swap it out for exploring equipment because we have to go on an adventure. So before we go off and explore in search of a mushroom, I actually wanted to try something out. When I was researching the mod pack, I found something called the market block. And if I click on the market block, it should let me buy things. Maybe I can buy a mushroom spawn egg. I'm not sure, but I'm willing to test it out. So let's grab four of my emeralds and test this out. Where shall I put it? It actually looks kind of cute. So maybe I could put it somewhere on display. Maybe by my bed right here. No, that's hideous, but let's just test it out first. We can buy spinach seeds. Okay, yeah, that's a lot of seeds that I can buy. Cotton seed, yep, okay. Don't really need any seeds, to be honest with you. Are you freaking kidding me? All I can buy is seeds. Oh, we can get all the saplings from here, but they do cost three emeralds each, ew. And then there's all the fruit saplings, which I don't really want. Oh, spawn eggs. We got a pig, a sheep, a cow, a chicken, a horse, a llama, an ocelot, what? An ocelot? Are you, are you kidding me? This is big, guys. 
A wolf. <gasps> a rabbit. Bone meal. Seriously? You can buy name tags for one emerald each. This is crazy. I have made an amazing discovery. Unfortunately, there are no mushroom cows for sale here, which really sucks. So I guess I'll have to go and find a mushroom after all. So we're gonna need a boat, some wheat, and a lead. And we have to go that way. About a thousand blocks that way to be specific. Now all we have to do is cross the ocean to the mushroom biome, lure one into my boat and take it home. The mushroom island should be just over here. <gasps> there it is, the mushroom island of dreams. Behold its beauty. Now all we need to do is grab that mushroom right there, get him in my boat with this wheat. Come here, sir, in the boat. Yes, perfect. Now, I'm not sure if this would work, but let's see if we can tow a mushroom behind us. This is just an experiment. It appears to be working. Yes, it's working perfectly. Now swim, mushroom, swim. I don't believe it. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Uh-oh. He's been left behind and I lost a lead. Come on. This is either the most genius or the most stupid idea I've ever had. It looks like he's jet skiing along behind us. Uh-oh, it's getting real dark now. This is starting to seem like a stupid idea. <gasps> no, my lead! That was my last lead. It's all the way at the bottom of the ocean. It's right here somewhere. There, I got it. Whew. Oh no, we have a very big problem. We have to get as close as possible to land without dying. Let's get these both on the land. Okay, well, they're in the boat. This should be safe. I need Joel to sleep right now. Otherwise, I'm gonna die. Whew, phew. That was a close call. And we got both our mushroom cows. Now all we have to do is get them back to the house. Come on, my lovelies. <gasps> no! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That was so freaking close. Oh look, it's Joel. He has come to admire my cows. He's building something. We'll just be on our way then. Ah, I fell in the water. Don't fall in the water. No. Oh gosh, I'm gonna drown. This is the end. <gasps> No, mushroom! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Who put this water here? My cow is gonna drown. That was close. I will be suing whoever put that water there. This place is a death trap. You should have better health and safety protocols, Joel. Or maybe I should have been looking where I was going. Okay, once we get onto the path, everything will be fine and we'll be home in no time. Now let's make sure we take them in the side entrance so they don't accidentally activate the booby traps. The last thing we need is a dead mushroom. Now I'm just gonna parade them past the other animals so they can be jealous of how magnificent the mushroom cow is. And they get to come right in here. Oh my goodness, I'm such an idiot. I forgot to get some mycelium from the mushroom biome. Now I really wanted to put mycelium on the floor here so they would feel at home, but I forgot to get the mycelium. So, well, there's only one thing for it. We've got to go all the way back to the mushroom biome just to get some mycelium. Okay, we're back again. We might as well get a bunch. Let's also take a selection of mushrooms with us because these are cute. They even have glow shrooms here. Oh my gosh, so many mushrooms. My mushroom cows are gonna feel so at home in their little castle. They're gonna love it. Let's hurry back to them. Finally, I've got the mycelium. Ow, oh gosh. No, most of the victims of these booby traps have been me. These guys better appreciate all the sacrifices I made to get this mycelium. So we'll just plop it down there. Now I'm kind of paranoid that they're just gonna poof into thin air for no reason, like my first ever mushroom. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. My mushroom cow just poofed into thin air. So let's make some clones, AKA babies. Make a baby. Yay, we got a baby mushroom. And now let's also put these toadstools down. The blue milk caps, which are the cutest by the way. The glow shrooms will light this place up in the dark. And these portobellos are ugly but they deserve a place in here too. I'm also gonna put a little bit of mycelium spilling out of the door and a little mushroom out here. Okay, perfect. The mushroom castle is complete. So I think these are both looking absolutely perfect, but they're a little bit lonely. So we need some more over on this side. So let's demolish this area here that we don't need anymore. And we won't even need Mr. Boney's pen anymore because I'm going to build him his very own castle. So I'm gonna take him somewhere safe for now, where he can't get hurt. He's gonna blend in with the colorful sheep. There you go, Mr. Boney. He feels so at home. Now all we have to do is build two more of the castles, which is gonna take me forever. But with the power of editing, it will be done in three, two, one. 
Ta-da! We got a purple one and a yellow one now. So we can start adding the animals on top and then putting something inside. But what will go inside, you ask? Well, let's start with this one here, the yellow one. This is where I'm going to put Mr. Boney. So on top, I'm going to try my best to build a skeleton horse out of marble. Now, marble on its own looks pretty rubbish, so if we hit it with the chisel, then we can get all these beautiful variations. I was thinking maybe we could get a couple of different ones to spice it up a little bit. So here we have a bunch of different ones that should look really cool. Wow. Okay, well, this is definitely one of the weirdest things I've ever tried to build. It kind of looks like a marble duck at the moment. Let's see if giving it some facial features will help. So here are the cute little eyes. And then of course, let us not forget the kawaii cheeks. Ta-da! Ah yes, much better. Wow, it's like Mr. Boney's twin. <laughs> oh well, let's get Mr. Boney inside. Urgh. Now I'll go in. No, he's too fat. Dang it. We might have to make the door extra wide. There we go, an extra wide door for an extra wide horse. Now we should make sure that everything in here is to Mr. Boney's liking. We'll fill in the holes. Maybe get some nice plants in here for you. Let's see what we've got. A glow flower, because I know you're afraid of the dark, Mr. Boney. And a pink daffodil. <gasps> and an icy iris. Perfect. There you go. Beautiful, just like you. And you've got a wonderful view onto the sheep that you are such good friends with. <laughs> right, good night, Mr. Boney. Now for the cherry on top of the final castle, I am going to build, you guessed it, it's a zombie horse. I know what you're thinking. Lizzie, you don't even have a zombie horse. Well, soon I will. And this is where it starts, with the long, lanky legs of a zombie horse statue. And there we have what I like to call a hairless zombie horse. Yes, perfect. Now all we need is a mane and a tail. So I'm gonna make the mane out of quilted green wool. So we will do the tail first, nice and long there. And then we need a mane as well on the top of the head and flowing down the sides. Now the moment of truth, is it perfect? Why, yes it is. Now all we need to do is actually get a zombie horse to go inside. So let's go and get one. And I know just where to find a zombie horse. Hopefully it's still there. I mean, I did encounter it on my first ever episode of One Life, which was months ago now. I'll be back, I'll be back for you. But I'm sure he won't have abandoned me. He will still be there waiting for me. <gasps> Here it is. <gasps> no, how could you? Oh no, somebody freed you. But we were meant to be together forever. Where did you go, my love? Why have you forsaken me? How will I ever love another again? Oh, here's another one. We'll just take this one. You're my new favorite now. Come on, let's go. I wonder if the path affects horse speed. Oh, it does. Woo, look at me go. Look how fast I am. Now, what kind of decoration would you like in here, Mr. Zombie Horse? How about some lovely death things? How about some slime? Nether bricks, dead wood. Let's see, are there any kind of dead flowers? Ooh, tree moss, that looks like death. Of course, the pirate banner and the wither skulls. All right, let's just start piling this stuff in in a hideous manner. And right in the middle here, a block of slime, but that is mostly for bouncing on, but also because you look like a block of slime. Well, I hope you enjoy your new disgusting place to live. I think you'll be right at home. Well, that is it for this episode of One Life, guys. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like on this video. Obviously, I got a bunch of new pets today, which are going to require names. So if you have any cool or funny suggestions, please let me know in the comments, and I will see you next time.